I'll try to keep things as brief, I guess, as I can. But who knows when I get on a roll, right? Yeah, we know what happens. I am not surprised when, a, when the president says that four sitting members of Congress should, quote, go back to their own country when he has authorized raids without warrants on thousands of families across this country. She's insinuating that Trump is doing something illegal. Everything that ICE does is legal, and they're enforcing the law. You, in wanting to have a virtual open borders and not protect our country, are subverting the law. When he violates international human rights. Internationally or nationally, it is not a human right to enter a country you are not a lawful citizen of. But I also know that we're focused on making it better. Then why would you lead a boycott of Wayfair? Wayfair is a discount wholesaler for anybody who doesn't know. ICE didn't have enough beds to accommodate all the kids in the recent surge, so they purchased beds from Wayfair. But Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez didn't like that. Not only did Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Elizabeth Warren and other Democrats boycott Wayfair for selling beds to ICE, in the latest emergency funding bill, Democrats specifically wrote into the bill, these funds cannot be used for beds or other basic supplies in the detention centers. Why would they do this? And I'll tell you why. It is because my Democrat colleagues don't give a damn about our national security or the migrants coming here and they prefer to use children as political props. I can't think of any other explanation. This country was founded on the radical idea that we are created equal and endowed by our creator with in, inalienable rights. This is Elon Omar. Get ready for a barrage of lies. She just one after the other. Lie, lie, lie. La, la. And yes, we have a long way before we fully live up to those values. You know who has a longer way? Somalia. I love how she wants to pretend like she's all for human rights when she wants Sharia law that enslaves women. It is for this reason precisely that we have to take action when a president is openly violating the oath he took to the Constitution of the United States. He is not openly defying the Constitution by enforcing our border laws. You don't want the border laws enforced. You're the one in defiance against our laws. When a president is openly violating the core values we aspire to. It's against our core values to enforce our laws? <laughs> our laws reflect our values. So it's against our values to enforce our values. <laughs> I believe this is a pivotal moment in our country. Bivital? <laughs> Okay, I get it. She can't say peas. Her peas come out as bees. I got it. The eyes of history is watching us. Right now, the president is carrying out mass deportation raids across this country in each one of our districts. Good. I hope you're next because it's very likely you committed immigration fraud to get into this country. And having human beings drinking out of toilets. Nope, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez already tried this last week. It's a drinking fountain on top of the toilet. It's not toilet water like a dog drinks out of the toilet. You're both liars. This president, who has been credibly accused of committing multiple crimes, including colluding with foreign government to interfere with our election. Credible crimes when the Russia collusion hoax came to nothing. But if you want to talk about crimes, You've been accused of immigration fraud. Then you married your brother. Then you're accused of committing tax fraud. And pursued an agenda to allow millions of Americans to die from a lack of health care. He doesn't want a million people to die. <laughs> Just because you don't want the government taking over an industry doesn't mean you don't want people to have goods and services. I don't want the government taking over the technology industry. That doesn't mean I don't want people to have iPhones and TVs and internet while he transfers millions of dollars in tax cuts to corporations. Transfers. He's transferring. <laughs> it's not a transfer to let people keep the money they made. It's their money. It's not the government's money. The government taking it is the transfer. When you lower taxes, you decrease the transfer of money. And why does Elon Omar think the economy is going so well? 
You let people keep the money they make, they spend it or they reinvest it in their business, hire employees, then those people spend it, and it's a snowball effect, baby. This is a president who has said, grab women by the pussy. You come from a country that forcibly amputates women's genitals. So I don't know if you want to be bringing that up. Trump didn't tell men to go grab women by the genitals. He was making a lewd statement 15 years ago about something that he did or supposedly did when he was trying to come on to a woman. And that was an inappropriate comment. Yes. But if you want to talk about questionable comments, we can talk about your comments where you seem to equate America to Al Qaeda and our army with a terrorist group. Every time the, the, the professor said Al Qaeda, he sort of like his shoulders yeah. went up and, you know, yeah, he's in command like, here. Al Qaeda, you know, has been. He's an expert. And, was, <laughs> and you don't say America with an yeah. intensity. You yeah. don't say England yeah. with yeah. an intensity. Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't say um, the army with an intensity. That wasn't 15 years ago, and you've been asked several times about Al Qaeda, and you still refuse to denounce them. This is a president who's called black, black athletes sons of bitches. Black athletes? Anyway, he wasn't calling black athletes SOBs. He was calling people that sat for the anthem SOBs, which included white people. But you didn't include that. Why? Because you're trying to manipulate minorities. So if you want to talk about people uh, mistreating black people, <laughs> That's you for trying to manipulate black people's emotions. This is a president who has called black people who come from black and brown countries shitholes. He didn't call the people that come from certain countries s-holes. He allegedly called certain countries that. There's no proof of it. There's a Democrat or two at the meeting who say they heard him say that. There's other people at the meeting who say he didn't say that, so we don't know. But even if he did say that, so what? You think some countries are bad. You escaped from one of those countries. You said this country is so bad, I have to escape for my life. And then Trump says, and then Trump allegedly agrees with you. And you said, how dare you call the bad countries? This is the political correctness, man, I swear. It's like Democrats say, these people, they're in a horrible country, ter terrible situation. We need to help them out. We need to take them in. And then you say, yeah, these countries are pretty bad. And they say, how dare you call their countries bad? And you're like, I you just said they're bad. Don't call me a racist. I'm just agreeing with what you just said. This is a political correctness, man. It's like a Monty Python movie. This is a president who has equated neo-Nazis with those who protest against them in Charlottesville. Charlottesville, <laughs> not Charlottesville is what she meant to say. Trump said there was bad people on both sides and there was bad people on both sides. There was Antifa violently attacking people and you, Elon Omar, and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez have failed to condemn them. Trump condemned them, and he condemned the white supremacists that were at the event. By the way, only a small percentage of people at the event were neo-Nazis or KKK. And aside from that, I don't even know of any other KKK or neo-Nazis. Antifa, at the other hand, seems to show up at every single Republican event attacking people and punching people and hitting people with bike locks who the media and Democrats fail to condemn on a, on a regular basis, and Joe Biden called them heroes. So uh, if you want to talk about condemning people or lack of condemning people, uh, that sits right at your doorstep. This is a president who has openly violated the very value our country aspires to uphold. Equality under the law, religious liberty, equal protection, and protection from persecution. He is not doing any of that. People do not have a right to enter a country they are not the citizen of. And to distract from that, he's launching a blatantly racist attack on four duly elected members of the United States of House of Representatives. United States of House of Representatives. I've never heard it put 
quite that way. As far as the blatantly racist tweet, and you can see the two women behind her, they're like, um, they're looking down, they're like, uh, I don't know if this is really rises to the level of racism. Even we think this is a stretch and we're race baiting all the time. Here's what the tweet says. So interesting to see progressive Democrat congresswomen who originally came from countries whose governments are a complete and total catastrophe. Well, Trump actually did get this one a little bit wrong because Elon Omar is from Somalia, but the other three in quote unquote the squad are from America. And Trump actually didn't even mention all four of these women's name. He just said progressive congresswomen, which would indicate two or more. So he could have just been referring to two, not necessarily three or four. But Rashida Tlaib, I thought was from another country. But when I fact checked this, I saw that she's actually from Detroit. So he probably meant her, at least. And I don't know if he meant the other two or not, but he, he probably meant Rashida Tlaib and was just mistaken about that. Understandable that he would think that she's from another country. I thought she was from another country, just by the way she acts. You know, she acts so similar to Elon Omar. Those two are like real buddies. You can't really tell them apart and as far as the way they act and some of the comments they make. Tlaib and Omar have already made it clear where their allegiance lies. Their most recent decision has cemented that fact. Both women are speaking at banquets for Hamas-linked organization CARE, Council on Islamic Relations. They're going to be speaking this month. And yes, that CARE, the one that the Justice Department listed as an unindicted co-conspirator in funding millions of dollars to the terrorist organization Hamas. So that's not very normal behavior for an American citizen, let alone a congresswoman. So it's understandable Trump would make that mistake. But he's not wrong about this tweet. The worst, most corrupt and inept anywhere in the world, if they even have a functioning government at all. Now loudly and viciously telling the people of the United States, the greatest and most powerful nation on earth, how our government is to be run. I mean, that's true, at least for Elon Omar. This isn't racist. He's just saying these countries aren't run very well. And, and Elon Omar agrees. That's why she escaped it. So if Trump's racist for saying this, She's racist for saying this. What a hypocrite. All of whom are women of color. So if somebody's a person of color, you're not allowed to criticize them? This is like a really backwards form of racism. You can criticize white people, but you can't criticize non-white people. This looks a lot like anti-white racism. If I didn't know any better. <laughs> this is the agenda of white nationalists. She's trying every gimmick she can think of to falsely smear him. It's so pathetic. You point to one policy that a white nationalist might agree with, and then you say, oh, a white nationalist agrees with that. He's a white nationalist. <laughs> I'm sure Muslim terrorists agree with a lot of your policies, so that means you're a Muslim terrorist, right? Bad example, because she very well might be a Muslim terrorist. Let's say a Black Panther agrees with some of your policies, therefore you're a Black Panther? Just because a certain group agrees with one of your policies, that does not mean you agree with everything that group says. He would love nothing more than to divide our country based on race, religion, gender, orientation. He's not dividing on any of those lines. He talks about making America great for all Americans. It's you four who divide people on tribal lines. Because we don't need any more brown faces that don't want to be a brown voice. We don't need black faces that don't want to be a black voice. We don't need Muslims that don't want to be a Muslim voice. We don't need queers that don't want to be a queer voice. How can they with a straight face say that he is the one dividing people? They are saying to unite around differences. This is how he can continue to enrich his friends and distract us from the detrimental policies that his administration is pushing forth. What detrimental policies the economy is the best has ever been? North Korea and South Korea ended the war. We have relative peace in the world. So we can either continue to enable this president and report on the bile of garbage that comes out of his mouth. Bile of garbage. I thought at first she was trying to say bile, like he's spewing bile and just mixed up the metaphors, but... She can't say her piece, so it comes out as bees. And the responsibility, the, the responsibility that his administration has for the deaths of children on our border. 
Well, that's only because you're refusing to secure the border. If the border was secure, people wouldn't even be trying to get here. But instead, you want to open the floodgates and increase the number of Americans murdered every year by illegal immigrants. It's already 2,000 every year, and you show no care at all. This is an entirely corrupt woman. She just went through a barrage of lies. She shows no signs of a conscience. I don't believe she is that dumb. Or the Bible says a conscience is seared. It means a person's conscience is totally, totally without feeling. It's like burned. There's no nerve endings at all. She, her conscience is, is unfeeling. It's, it's totally numb to God, to truth. Because we don't leave the things that we love. And when we love this country, what that means is that we propose the solutions to fix it. Ending this country does not fix this country. Open borders ends America. That's not fixing anything. These guys are so backwards. And so we'll stay focused on our agenda and we won't get caught slipping. Caught you slipping a lot in this video. Looks like you broke just about everything. Your back, your head, pelvis, both your legs. It's a distraction from what's most important and from our core values as American citizens. Your core value is political correctness, and you seek to sacrifice America on that altar. Political correctness is the idea that we should deny the truth if it hurts somebody's feelings. You're denying the truth about the problems illegal immigration causes to America and Americans, and you seek to lie about anyone who does tell the truth about illegal immigration. You falsely call them racist, bigot, or whatever other lie or smear you can think of because they have told the truth and hurt people's feelings. It's your core value. It's your only value. It's the anti-truth narrative of liberal Democrats. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Elon Omar, Rashid Tlaib, and Ayanna Presley are sprinting as fast and as far as they can towards emotion-pleasing degeneracy at the expense of American sovereignty and the security of the American people.